Kyle Larson is one of the most popular NASCAR drivers. His impressive track record has earned him a spot in the NASCAR playoffs for six consecutive seasons, from 2016 to 2019, and then again from 2021 to 2023. He's also a 23-time cup race winner, so it's safe to say he kicks ass on the track. But what about his life off track? There are some little-known facts about the NASCAR champ that even you will find shocking, from his gigantic house, insane car collection, and relationship status to his jaw-dropping salary. Here are 10 little-known things you probably didn't know about Kyle Larson. And we've got to say, number two takes the cake for us. Number 10, Family and Racing Roots Born and bred in Elk Grove, California, Kyle is a true blue American with a strong Christian faith. His upbringing was shaped by his parents, Mike and Janet Larson. It's worth noting that Janet, who has Japanese-American roots, has a rather dark family history. Her parents endured the hardships of a Japanese Japanese internment camp during World War II. Kyle also has a younger sister, Andrea Larson. Now here's the fun bit about Kyle's early days. His first ever visit to a racetrack happened in the same week that he was born. Now we're not sure which, but one of those older cars sure had an impact on baby Kyle cuz as the years rolled by and he turned seven, the only thing he really wanted to do was kick off his go-karting journey. He and his father sneakily bought an orange go-kart without his mother's knowledge and they dove head first into their first go-kart season. Number 9. Hobbies and Favorite Vacation Spots When it comes to unwinding, Kyle likes to hit the golf course. Starting with a handicap of about 18, he's steadily improved his game over the years. Honestly, it's not surprising that many NASCAR drivers take to golf, since it's a sport that provides a much slower pace compared to the adrenaline field rush of the racetrack. In the digital realm, Larson admits to being a bit too attached to his phone, much to the annoyance of his wife, a sentiment many of us can relate to. However, he's not big on gaming, with one exception, a certain puzzle game that manages to capture his interest. When it comes to vacationing, Kyle has a soft spot for Tulsa, Oklahoma, making it his favorite vacation spot. Although the reasons remain a mystery, one can speculate that perhaps it's tied to his back-to-back -back Chili Bowl victories in 2020 and 2021, adding a layer of triumph to the city. In a quick-fire interview, Larson also spilled the beans about his dream destination for foodie adventures. He's got a hankering for Italy. Can't blame him. Italian cuisine is pretty much a universal love language. Number 8. Salary and Net Worth Now, let's talk dollars. The guy who clinched the 2021 Cup Series has got a pretty sweet deal going on. His net worth? A cool $12 million. And that's not just pocket change. It's a mix of race winnings, endorsement deals, and whatever other money magic he's got up his sleeve. Larson decided to stick around with his crew at Hendrick Motorsport, signing a fresh contract just as the 2023 season was gearing up. Now, this contract isn't just a short fling. It's a commitment until 2026. And what's he pulling in per season? A tidy $10 million. Not bad, right? It's like they say, keep Keep winning, keep grinning, and the cash keeps rolling in. Now, let's talk sponsors. The big kahuta here is HendrickCars.com, straight from the team's own stable. But wait, there's more. The Larson brand is rocking support from several heavy hitters like Chevrolet, Oakley, Credit One Bank, iRacing, Alpine Stars, you name it. These guys aren't just slapping their names on his car for kicks. They're contributing to the Larson fortune, making sure he's not just fast on the track, but loaded in the bank. Number 7. Favorite Racetrack you might assume he'd pick a track with crazy turns or heart-stopping straights, right? Well, not exactly. In a live stream interview with David Gravel, Larson spilled the dirt, literally. Grandview stands out because, in his words, it doesn't feel like you're in Pennsylvania. Now that's intriguing. Apparently, it's got a different color dirt, a different shape, a different size. But it's not just about the track. It's the whole shebang. The fans at Grandview bring a different vibe to the table. Larson describes them as a big block or small block crowd, a bit NASCAR-ish. So it's not just the twists and turns of the track that make it special. It's the people in the stands, too. Number 6. Favorite Food Alright, let's dig into Larson's taste buds. To tell you the truth, he's a bona fide junk food junkie. He loves pizza and pizza rolls, peanut butter pretzels, tacos, because who doesn't love tacos, and the unexpected addition of iceberg lettuce. 
Yeah, the guy had a bit of a thing for the crispy greens too. Now on race days, what most of us would probably be opting for something mild, Kyle was all about a grilled chicken dish with Tabasco. Spicy sauce before a three hour race? Risky move, but hey, if it works, it works. And given his track record, I guess we could let him slide on that one. Number 5 Car Collection Kyle seems to carry that Chevy love into his personal car collection. In fact, he's got a trio of Chevys in his garage. For family duties, it's the Chevy Trax, perfect for those rides with the crew. And then there's the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, bringing a dose of high-performance flair to the mix. And to round it all off, there's the Chevrolet SS, likely serving up a bit more speed for those moments when Larson wants to unleash some extra horsepower on the open road. Now it kinda makes sense, right? I mean, if you're zipping around the track in a Chevy, why not roll the same brand? when you hit the streets. Plus, who wouldn't want to be in Kyle Larson's shoes when it comes to getting a sweet deal on those cars? Number 4. Charity The man's got a big heart, and he's putting it to good use through the Kyle Larson Foundation. The foundation is all about making a difference in the lives of youth, families, and communities in need. For the 2021 season, he kicked off a pledge to donate $5 for every lap he completed, and a whopping $5,000 for every top three finish. Now, considering the guy's a racing powerhouse, those numbers add up fast. By the sixth race of the season, he'd already tallied up $22,000 in donations. And that was just the beginning. Fast forward to the end of the season where Larson secured the Cup Series Championship. You can bet those charity numbers got a serious boost. Number 3. His House Kyle Larson went all out, spending a whopping $5.6 million on his new 6,500-square-foot mansion in Arizona. The mansion may have taken half the man's entire wealth, but hey, it comes fully loaded with four bedrooms, about five bathrooms, and a bunch of cool extras. There's a huge, carefully landscaped lawn and garden all over the place for one. And that's not all. The latest Larson mansion is pretty modern, with its see-through fireplace, a fire pit, a fountain, and an outdoor bar. Oh, and there's a pool in the backyard, too. Larson's doing well for himself, and this swanky new place is proof. His success and wealth set him up nicely for this kind of buy. Even though he didn't snag the Cup Series Championship title this year, he was on top of his game all season. And now, with a new mansion and growing family, it looks like Larson's enjoying the rewards of his hard work. Good for him. Number 2. Acting Gigs Kyle made a cameo appearance as a limousine driver in the film Logan Lucky, which starred Channing Tatum, Daniel Craig, and Adam Driver. In this heist comedy, Larson shared the screen with Adam Driver, and they weren't the only racing personalities to make an appearance. The movie featured cameos by several other NASCAR drivers, adding an extra layer of authenticity to the racing-themed scenes. Among those who popped up in the film were Carl Edwards, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, and Ryan Blaney. It's a fun collaboration that brought some real-life racing flair to the silver screen. And number one, Partners. Kyle Larson's love story with Caitlin Sweet is one for the books. High school sweethearts, they've been each other's ride or die since their teenage years. Caitlin, a racer herself and the sister of NASCAR driver Brad Sweet, shares Kyle's passion for the fast lane. In 2018, the couple took the plunge into matrimony, sealing the deal and officially becoming a family. They welcomed two adorable additions to the Larson clan. Owen Miata Larson, born on December 22, 2014, was the first to join the family. Later on May 7, 2018, Audrey Lane Larson made her grand entrance. Balancing the demands of a busy racing career and family life is no easy feat, but Larson and Sweet have managed to do it with grace. Their supportive and loving relationship has stood the test of time, proving that they're not just partners on the track, but in life. Caitlin Sweet is also pretty famous for her expertise in beauty and skin care, having carved out her own niche, gradually gaining recognition in her own right. Her estimated net worth falls between $1 million and $5 million. So, what are your thoughts on Kyle Larson? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next one. That'll pop up on your screen and hit that subscribe button for all things NASCAR.